Hi, I'm Norm Stockton. Welcome to my home studio here in Orange County, California. I am here today with the Galleon Cougar MB210 combo amp. A lean and mean 210 with a horn, compact, versatile, and expandable with GK's MBP series of powered enclosures. The MB210 puts 350 watts into an 8 ohm load, which is the internal speakers, or 500 watts into a 4 ohm load if you plug in a passive extension cabinet. Designed and built in the US, good stuff as usual. Um, in the normal manner, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the top panel and the rear panel, uh, just sort of overview style, and then we'll go control by control. And as always, please plug in some earbuds or a speaker so you can really hear what's going on with the low end. It's really hard to tell uh, through computer speakers or a phone speaker. Okay, so here we go. So starting on the left side of the top panel, you've got your input jack, your input attenuator, preamp gain, contour switch, which is some tone shaping, kind of a mid scoop, we'll talk about that. You have GK's awesome four band active EQ. You have a boost knob, which is GK's trademark growl, master volume, limiter on off, horn on off, auxiliary in, which is an eighth inch stereo mini plug, awesome for practicing, we'll talk about that in a moment. Headphone jack, DI with pre and post EQ selector, power button, and then on the rear panel, you have your speaker out, which is a speak on connection for plugging in a passive extension cabinet, as well as the chain out, which is for plugging into the MBB powered enclosures that we'll talk about. It's really awesome and really a huge thing with these MB combos. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go control by control. Here we go. So make sure you plug in to the input jack and then you have your input attenuator and that's a 10 dB pad. So again, if you're playing some sort of bombastic stuff on a bass with really high output, then you probably want to engage that just to make sure that nothing's clipping at the input stages. But if you're playing something pretty mellow or you have a bass with low output, then you probably will never need to engage that, okay? Then you have your preamp gain and a contour switch. And if you're familiar with GK amps, then you probably have seen the contour knob. And that's basically something that introduces a cut in the 500 hertz range and then a corresponding uh, bump in the lows and the highs. So it gives you a bit of that smiley face EQ. Well, the uh, contour switch basically simulates going all the way up with that. Okay, so here we go. Um, it's disengaged right now. So it's like disengaged, engaged. So it kind of scoops it out, right? So very cool, just with a single switch, you can get a lot of tone variation. Um, I'm gonna leave it disengaged for right now just to kind of let you hear what the amp sounds like flat. All right, then moving on, you've got GK's awesome four band active EQ, goes all the way back to the 800 RB that started it all. And it's a very musical, great sounding EQ. Uh, starting with the treble, highs. crisp things up, you know. I'm going to leave it flat for right now. Then you have your high mids. Really good tone shaping. Then you have your low mids. So you can definitely thin it out a lot or really uh, beef it out. have your lows and I'm going to be careful with this so I don't blow out my overhead mic. Totally thin it out. Or some serious beef. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it flat for now. Moving on, you have your boost. And again, this is GK's signature growl. So I've got it halfway up right now. Check it out. When I turn it all the way uh, counterclockwise, it's disengaged. So here we go. So you hear how it kind of, you know, gives it a little bit more toot, you know? It actually will affect your overall output level. So that's, you kind of adjust it in conjunction with this master volume. And again, you can see that I have the master volume down quite a bit because I'm trying not to distort my uh, shotgun mic for my vocal. So, uh, but if you had this up here to really maximize that uh, growl factor, then you'd probably want to adjust this pretty dramatically down. And then in a real world situation, if this is about halfway up, which is kind of typically where I would leave it, then you can maybe bring your amp uh, output about to here. But again, it all depends on your personal preferences and how late at night it is. <laughs> or how much you dislike your neighbors, whatever. So yeah, I'll leave it about there and uh, about halfway up. I love it, it just gives it some tude. Uh, then I'll leave my master volume right about there. Then you have your limiter on off. If you're doing some sort of bombastic playing and you've got the amp cranked up really loud and you can tell the speakers are starting to complain, it's not a bad idea to engage that limiter, you know, um, just to make sure that you're not gonna do any damage. But um, I almost never use that because, uh, you know, if you're using this with insane <laughs> tolerances, uh, you know, you're never gonna encounter that. But it's there just in case you wanna take it over the top. And then you have your horn on off. The horn in this MB210 really gives this cab some versatility and some crispiness if you want that, you know? So if you're doing... If you want any of that crispiness on top, you know, it definitely has that. But if you're doing some grindy rock stuff, finger style stuff where you maybe don't need that, then you could just disengage that horn. And these 10 inch speakers are full range and they sound great and they have a fair amount of high end in them anyway. So. Uh, but just, again, personal preference, you know, you have all sorts of flexibility with this amp. And then you have your auxiliary in, and again, that's an eighth inch stereo mini plug. It's an awesome feature when you want to use the MB210 as a uh, practice amp, because it allows you to plug in your drum machine or your phone or your laptop and run your tracks through and woodshed along with them. It works hand in hand with that headphone jack, by the way, because when you plug in your headphones, then it, it disengages the internal speakers. So very, very useful stuff. Moving on, you've got GK's awesome sounding DI, and you can see that I'm using it for this recording. And there's also a pre and post EQ selector. And that's really cool because when you have the amp right next to you on stage, you may want to do some sort of EQing to your preferences there, but that may not be optimal EQ for the front of house person. So you can send it pre EQ. So it's just whatever you're doing with the EQ here is not getting conveyed to the house, or you can set it post EQ and all of your settings here will go to the front of house as well. Again, just more flexibility for your needs. Uh, then there's a power button and I always crack up because uh, even GK power buttons are cool and, and uh, well thought out. Um, you see that the power button has an LED around it. And when you first turn on the power, that LED will be red. And then once it's fired up and ready to go, it'll turn blue. If there's dirty power in the venue, then that will turn red again and it'll let you know that something's up. And as soon as that power issue is resolved, it'll turn blue again, but very, very cool stuff. Then moving on to your rear panel, you've got your speaker out and this is for a passive extension cabinet. It's a speak on connection. And so you can plug into an external uh, minimum eight ohm cabinet and that'll drop down the load to four ohms and you'll be getting the full 500 watts out of this combo. And then you have your chain out jack. And again, that's what you use to plug in your MBP powered extension cabinets. Anytime you're talking about the MB combos, you really need to mention the MBPs because they have so much to do with the overall functionality and flexibility of these MB combos. Check it out, using a standard XLR cable, you go from the chain out jack of the MB210 into the chain in of an MBP powered extension cabinet or cabinets. <laughs> you know, you could drive up to three MBPs with one MB combo. And once they're plugged in, then all volume and EQ settings from the MB combo are conveyed to those MBP powered extension cabinets. Those have power amps that are built into each one that are allocated just to the speakers in those boxes. And you can mix and match. So there's the 112 MBP or the 115 MBP, which are both 200 watt amps, or there's the 212 MBP or 410 MBP, which are both 500 watt amps with Neo drivers.
awesome stuff. Uh, there are separate video clips of all of those MVP units as well. So you can go check those out, but uh, they really add some serious flexibility to your arsenal in terms of the MB combos. You know, you don't need to lug around this massive rig if you only need that massive rig occasionally. You could just have MVPs waiting in the wings. But uh, this MB210 is just 35 pounds, super portable, expandable, uh, GK tone and punch, killer features, awesome value. And uh, I'm always encouraging people not to just take my word for it, even though I'm definitely giving you the straight scoop. Go to a GK dealer and check them out for yourself. I know you'll agree. But otherwise, you can also go to Galleon.com for further information. But this is the Galleon Cougar MB210 Combo Amp. Go check it out. God bless you. I'm Norm Stockton. I hope to see you on the road.